Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be making some multi-layered resin pendants using Marabou's new alcohol ink colors. Now if you haven't heard, Marabou's come out with a second release of alcohol ink colors and they're absolutely yummy. There's a whole bunch of neons, metallics, and there's even some color shift glitter in there. Now I'm also going to be using these new well brushes and instead of adding water I'm going to add some rubbing alcohol using a pipette and then I'll be sure to label them once they're filled so I know that they have the alcohol in them. Now you're probably thinking, let's get on with this pendant tutorial. Well, it actually didn't start off that way. It started as a journal page. Here I am using a Yuppo Disbound journal page and the alcohol inks, and it kind of led me in an unexpected direction. Little did I know at the time that this journal page would teach me some pretty valuable creative lessons. Now when I thought this page was almost finished, I decided to add some metallic pink and metallic yellow to that bottom right hand corner and I absolutely fell in love with that color combination. So much so that I wanted to add it to the rest of the page. Now this led me to my first lesson. It's so important to try color combinations with your alcohol inks and that's not something that I normally think about when I'm playing with them. Now all I needed to transform the page was a little bit of rubbing alcohol and that well brush worked great. Unfortunately, I didn't let the color dry completely before adding some foil and oh my gosh, it removed most of that beautiful color. But that's okay, I just went with the flow and added more of that metallic pink and metallic yellow. Now I ended up in a predicament. I loved the color, but it was way too busy for a journal page. So what could I do with it? Now whenever a journal page is too busy, I cut it up and use it in smaller projects. Now it just so happened I had these molds off on the side. I was going to use them in a different project and they worked great for this because there was so much detail and a small amount of space on that journal page that they would make great pendants. So here I am, I'm just adding some sealant which I didn't actually really need uh, and then I added my first layer of resin. Now once that resin was cured, I popped them out of the molds and even though I thought they were pretty, they were a little boring and so I decided to go with a second layer. So I added some alcohol inks to matte Duralar. Once they were tacky, I added a different color foil for some contrast. Now once the matte Duralar pieces were dry, I cut out small sections and I auditioned them on top of the pendants. I wanted to make sure that you could still see the bottom layer and so I just cut them out and auditioned them in different areas. Once I was happy with them, then I placed them back in the molds and added a second layer of resin. Now whenever you're dealing with multiple layers of resin, you have to remember that good things take time. Now once that second layer of resin was cured, I popped it out and guess what? It still wasn't dimensional enough for me. Now I'm a firm believer in simplicity, but sometimes more is more. And so I ended up adding some rub-ons to the top of that cured resin, and then I added a final layer of resin on top of that. Now by this point, I am head over heels in love with the circle and the heart. I love the way they came out. The square pendant, not so much. I wasn't that fond of the middle color combination and that was perfectly okay because I ended up learning something new. At the last minute, I decided to add some drops of the color shift glitter into that last layer of resin and it looks really awesome and it's probably something that I'll do in the future. So even though that square pendant was not one of my favorites, I still learned something new. Now there are so many ways to finish off an alcohol ink and resin pendant. Me, well, I'm a metal kind of girl. But you can always leave the back as is and screw in an eye hook, 
or you can glue some leather to the back or wrap it with some wire or even mount it onto wood or stitch it onto fiber. The possibilities are endless. And the last thing that I learned, just relax and enjoy the process. I definitely figured out that these alcohol links are just so forgiving. So just sit back, relax, and have fun. I hope that you enjoyed watching this pendant tutorial. And for more information on Marabou products, visit MarabouCreativeUSA.com. And for the complete list of materials, check out that description below. Thanks for watching.